We're about to kick off an exhilarating gust of adventure that will have you on the edge of your seat. Prepare your senses, because we're not just going to be introducing you to new experiences. We're about to embark on a journey that will take you beyond what you thought was possible. This is a journey that will stretch your imagination to its limits, ignite your curiosity, and inspire you to explore further than you ever have before. We're not just talking about a standard journey here. We're talking about a virtual voyage that will transport you to the very heart of one of the world's most enchanting cities. Imagine embarking on an expedition that's meticulously structured to deliver an up-close and personal glimpse into the heart of Rome. Picture yourself stepping into the ancient Colosseum, marveling at the Sistine Chapel's intricacies, or gazing upon the splendor of the Trevi Fountain. But that's not all. Today, we're about to unravel some secrets, secrets that will add an extra layer of intrigue to your journey. These aren't just ordinary secrets. These are the whispers roam that will make your journey more meaningful, more unforgettable, and incredibly gripping. We're about to divulge not five, not seven, but the top 10 things you should be aware of when exploring Rome, Italy. Rome, the eternal city, is a treasure trove of culture, history, and tradition. But like every city, Rome has its quirks, its unspoken rules, and its unique customs that every traveler will find fascinating. Understanding and respecting these aspects is crucial to truly appreciate Rome's splendor, and that's precisely why we're here. Our aim is to educate, inform, and prepare you for what awaits in this stunning city. So, are you excited to delve into the heart of the Roman world? Are you ready to unravel the hitherto unknown aspects that play a critical role in planning your trip? Are you eager to learn about the do's and don'ts that can elevate or diminish your Roman holiday experience? Fantastic, because that's our primary goal. Our countdown doesn't just offer tips, it unravels mesmerizing tales, captivating anecdotes, and fascinating facts that breathe life into allure. We'll take you on a journey through time, allowing you to witness the city's evolution and understand the historical context behind its iconic landmarks. We aim to offer a unique perspective on Rome, providing insights that go beyond the usual travel guides. We take you by the hand and guide you through the maze-like streets, making you privy to Rome's hidden gems and making your journey an unforgettable experience. Pack your virtual bags and strap in for the ride of your life, because we're about to embark on a journey like no other. We're here to make your encounter with this ancient city a memorable one, a sojourn that will leave you yearning for more, a trip that will make you fall in love with Rome all over again. So, without further ado, let's dive right in and count down our top 10 don'ts for a trip to Rome. When in Rome, do as the Romans do, right? While this may be true in some cases, it's not always the best advice for a traveler. From the labyrinth of ancient streets, the hustle and bustle of modern city life, Rome offers a myriad of experiences that can be both incredibly enriching and potentially confusing for the uninitiated. Sometimes doing as the Romans do might land you in an ocean of complications. Imagine this vivid scenario. You're wandering the beautiful cobblestone streets of Rome, basking in warmth of Italy's capital, and your lips are parched. Your eyes catch the sight of a fascinating Roman Nassoni, a drinking fountain that spouts fresh, cascading water. You approach it, eagerly drinking in the invigorating spray, only to find out you've accidentally turned it into your own personal pool. A wave of embarrassment washes over you as you realize the local Romans are chuckling at your innocent blunder. Next, perhaps you find yourself in the heart of the vivacious city center, lost amidst a sea of Romans, all of whom seem to be going about their day with a practiced ease. You're trying to hail a cab, waving your hand frantically, standing out like a sore thumb amongst the locals who are wisely waiting at the designated taxi stops, laughing quietly at your misstep. And oh, let's not forget the enticing labyrinth of street vendors. They are a veritable siren's call, pulling you in with their colorful, elaborate displays of an astonishing variety of trinkets and souvenirs. Who knew you had a deep-seated desire for a miniature Colosseum or a delicate Roman gladiator figurine until you find yourself standing there, bartering like a seasoned pro, matching wits with a street-savvy vendor? Then there's the gastronomical adventure that is Rome's famous cuisine. You're excited to sample the city's world-renowned gelato, but what's this? A gasp of shock ripples through the quaint cafe as you unknowingly commit a cardinal sin by ordering a cappuccino after 11 a.m. The cultural pitfalls are many, and the navigation can be treacherous. Indeed, experiencing Rome can be a veritable tightrope walk, a thrilling act between indulging your tourist curiosity and the desire to blend in seamlessly with the local Roman inhabitants. 
it can be tricky, terrifying, and immensely rewarding, all at the same time. But fear not, dear traveler, for we're here to guide you. Our is to help you navigate these common cultural faux pas, ensuring that your Roman holiday is as enjoyable, insightful, and hassle-free as possible. With our help, you can go beyond just doing as the Romans do, and truly experience life as a Roman. So let's delve into the nuances and subtleties of Roman behavior, customs, and traditions. And remember, what happens in Rome doesn't always stay in Rome. Starting with number 10, ever seen a street vendor and thought, I don't need that? Well, you're about to change your mind. Picture this. You're leisurely strolling down the enchanting, time-honored cobblestone streets of Rome, basking in the vibrant sights and ambient sounds of this bustling city, soaking up the rich history and culture that seems to seep from every pore of this place. Suddenly, your attention is drawn to a charismatic street vendor. This vendor is standing amidst the throng of people, selling an impressive array of trinkets that capture the essence of Italy. Each piece is a testament to the country's culture, all gleaming under the warm, inviting Italian sun. There's an array of miniature figurines of the Colosseum, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and even the Vatican. There are intricately designed carnival masks reminiscent of the Venice Carnival, beautiful Murano glass jewelry, and vibrant hand-painted ceramics. You don't really need any of them, but there's a magnetic pull that entices the latent tourist in you. The vendor notices your interest and engages you with his charming, persuasive banter. He shares stories about the origins of each piece and the unique craftsmanship that went into their creation. His captivating tales are so engaging, before you know it, you're haggling for a miniature coliseum. You're all too aware that it probably gathered dust on your shelf back home. But in the heat of the moment, it seems like a great idea. However, let's save ourselves the hassle, shall we? Keep walking, folks. Keep walking. Moving on to number nine. You might have seen in movies people hailing taxis with a casual wave of their hand. But in Rome, you'd be better off finding a designated taxi stand. Picture this. You're standing by the roadside, arm outstretched, trying to hail a cab. The traffic whizzes by and surprisingly, no one stops. Why? Because in Rome, taxis abide by the rule that they can only be hired from designated stands. So to save yourself the time and arm workout, make a beeline for the nearest taxi stand. And now, on to number eight, a crucial tip for any tourist, not just in Rome, but anywhere in the world. We've all heard the unnerving stories of nimble-fingered pickpockets who can filch your wallet quicker than you can utter pizza. In Rome, these crafty thieves are no less skilled. So always remember to keep your valuables close to your body. Imagine this scenario. You're casually sauntering down a crowded street, your bag slung carelessly over your shoulder. You reach for your wallet only to find an empty space. You're left dazed, victim to the skillful hands of a pickpocket. Now that's certainly not the souvenir you wanted, right? So to avoid this unfortunate event, sling that bag in front, zip it up, secure it well, and keep an alert eye on it. So next time you're in Rome, remember, no impulsive shopping, no flagging down taxis, and definitely no leaving your belongings unattended. Moving on to number seven. You might love Italian cuisine, but trust us, you won't love the prices near major monuments. Dining in the vicinity of Rome's famous landmarks may seem like an enchanting idea, but your pocketbook might sing a different tune. Cost of meals can drastically escalate, and the quality can significantly drop when you are in the heart of touristy areas. Consider this scenario. You're sitting at an outdoor table overlooking the stunning Colosseum, about to take your first bite of pasta al pomodoro. The ambiance is undeniably romantic, and the view is breathtaking. But when the bill arrives, that delicious meal has cost you almost as much as your accommodation for the night, and the pasta was mediocre at best. The reason? Restaurants near tourist centers often charge a premium, knowing that they can get away with it because of their prime location. Now, we're not saying you should forego dining near these landmarks altogether. After all, there's something to be said about soaking in the city's history while you eat, but you need to be smart about it. So here's a little tip. Wander off the beaten path. Take a leisurely stroll about four to five blocks away from these tourist hubs. This way, you're still close enough to enjoy the views, but far enough to avoid overpriced subpar food. You'll find the streets lined with tiny family-owned establishments where you can experience authentic, mouth-watering Italian cuisine that won't empty your wallet. The pasta is homemade, the tomatoes are freshly picked, and the wine is locally sourced. And the best part? You'll be eating amongst locals, soaking in the true Roman spirit, 
Let's move on to the next tip, number six. When in Rome, do as the Romans do, right? Well, not when it comes to dining times. Romans typically eat much later than what you might be accustomed to. Around eight or nine in the evening is when they start to consider dinner. But if you try to follow this schedule, you might find yourself waiting in line or struggling to find a place to sit. Instead, we suggest you eat on your own schedule. Restaurants are less crowded and you'll enjoy a more relaxed dining experience. You can take your time, savor your meal without feeling rushed, and actually engage in conversation with the staff. Even better, you can catch the sunset over Rome while enjoying your dinner. Moving down to five, don't forget to use the Roman Metro. It not only gets you everywhere, but is also quick and cheap. So avoid the tourist traps, respect the dress code, use the Metro, and time your sightseeing well. At number four, we all love a good dip, but the fountains in Rome are not swimming pools. Now, I know what you're thinking. We've all experienced that scorching hot summer day where the sun is unrelenting and the tantalizing sight of a magnificent fountain is truly irresistible. The water sparkles under the sunlight, almost seeming to beckon you for a quick, refreshing splash. But let me tell you, dear travelers, caution is key. In the eternal city of Rome, you might unwittingly land yourself in a predicament that's far from cool. And I'm not just talking about the temperature. These fountains aren't just gushing water features. They are timeless historical pieces of art, a testament to Rome's rich and vibrant past. They are not intended to be your personal pool party or a place to indulge in aquatic shenanigans. So my friends, it's crucial to resist that keep those swim trunks neatly folded in your suitcase and stick to capturing the beauty of these fountains through your camera lenses. Snap those selfies, create those memories, but remember to respect the sanctity of these architectural marvels. Now, let's journey onwards to number three, it's time to delve into a topic that's all about respect and decorum, the dress code. Rome is a city that's teeming with awe-inspiring churches, each a must-visit spot on any traveler's itinerary. But bear in mind, these aren't just tourist attractions or a chance for a grand fashion display. These are sacred places of worship, steeped in devotion and reverence, not fashion runways for flaunting your various outfits. Do remember to dress modestly and respectfully. Save those revealing spaghetti straps and short shorts for the beach or casual hangouts. In Rome's magnificent churches, the rule of thumb is more is more. Ensure those shoulders are covered, those knees are not on display, and you will be absolutely fine. Trust me, the last thing you want on your Roman holiday is a disapproving glance from a stern Italian nonna. She doesn't mince words, that's for sure. At number two, we're circling back to our beloved fountains. But this time, it's focusing on a different aspect, hydration. Rome, this enchanting city, is speckled with delightful drinking fountains, affectionately named Nasoni, or Big Noses. These aren't just ornamental pieces or architectural showpieces. The water that flows from these fountains is absolutely safe to drink. And let's be honest, nothing can quite match the rejuvenating sensation of a refreshing gulp of cold water after a lengthy day of exploring Rome's treasures. So, leave behind the overpriced bottled water. When in Rome, it's vital to do as the Romans do and hydrate the local way. And there you have it, folks. From avoiding impromptu pool parties and historical fountains to maintaining decorum in holy churches and hydrating the local way, Rome has its own unique set of rules. But isn't that the beauty of it all? Adds to the charm, the mystique of this eternal city. So remember, when in Rome, drink from the fountains, but don't take a dip in them. And finally, the number one thing not to do in Rome, never forget to make use of the metro. Yes, you heard it right. This isn't a joke, folks. The metro isn't simply a means of transport to bypass the infamously chaotic Roman traffic. It's much more than that. It's about diving headfirst into the diverse Roman culture. The metro system in Rome is so quintessentially Roman that it feels like an immersive tour in itself. You might be thinking, but I've been told the metro is crowded and confusing. Well, it's true. The metro can be crowded, particularly during the rush hours when everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere. But here's a secret. That's part of its charm. It's a microcosm of Rome itself, teeming with life, bustling with energy, and vibrant with the ebb and flow of the city's heartbeat. However, don't let this discourage you. Despite its crowded nature, the metro is surprisingly user-friendly. The lines are and well signposted, designed specifically to help tourists navigate the network with ease. Plus, there are only three lines to worry about, line A, line B, and line C. You'll likely be using line A and line B for the most part as line C mainly serves the outskirts. Consequently, it's almost impossible to get lost. The metro also offers a swift means of transport. Need an example? 
you can journey from the imposing Colosseum to the majestic Vatican in under 30 minutes flat. Try accomplishing that feat in a car during rush hour traffic. And to top it all off, it won't burn a hole in your pocket either. A single journey will set you back by less than two euros. If you're planning on making multiple trips throughout the day, you can opt for a day pass. But here comes the best part about using the Metro. It gives you a chance to experience Rome like a true local. You'll get to overhear snippets of authentic Italian conversations, observe Romans going about their daily routines, witness the morning rush and the evening calm, and maybe, if you're lucky, you might even spot a street performer or two right inside the metro station. It's a slice of Roman life that is absolutely unparalleled, something you just cannot experience from the confines of a taxi window. So there you have it, folks, our comprehensive guide to the top things not to do in Rome. Always remember, the city is yours to explore and embrace. Just make sure you do it the right way. Well, that was quite a ride, wasn't it? We've journeyed through the ancient cobblestone streets of Rome, a city cloaked in an aura of mystery and a history spanning. It's a city of awe-inspiring architecture, captivating tales, and deliciously indulgent gastronomy. But remember, these are merely suggestions, gateways into the heart of this majestic city. They are designed to inspire you, to tantalize your senses and ignite your spirit of adventure. Rome, a city that seeps secrets from its every pore, filled with surprises at every corner, implores you to dive into its depths in a manner that best portrays your personality. We've endeavored to guide you from 10 to 1. Our list is a carefully curated compendium of suggestions crafted to enhance your Roman escapade. We've offered advice on the timing of your visits to dodge the crowds, to savor the city and its tranquility. We've emphasized the holiness of the religious sites, urging you to tread with reverence in these sacred spaces. Our guide encourages you to savor the crisp, clear water gushing from the city's ancient fountains, not as a swimming spot, but as a refreshing quench in the Mediterranean heat. We've delved into the labyrinth of Roman cuisine, cautioning you against falling into the tourist trap of exorbitantly priced eateries loitering near the monumental structures. We've exposed the omnipresent pickpockets, a shadowy element to this otherwise enchanting city. Our guidance extends to often confusing rules of hailing taxis, the benefits of the metro system, and the potential hazards posed by the irresistible charms of street vendors. And perhaps you've experienced spellbinding allure of Rome yourself? If so, we're eager to hear from you. We would absolutely love for you to share your wisdom, your nuggets of insight, and your unique experiences. So, do tell us about your experiences and advice in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more travel tips and tricks. Arrive Dirty!